Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie here and today I just thought I'd show you an easy way to prep a journal page if you want to add color. So I call this technique, I call this technique, this is a technique guys. Uh, this, yeah, this doesn't deserve that. This, this is not a technique. This is just something I do to add color to my page. So you guys have seen me work in my uh, Traveler's Notebook journal. And I keep a little notebook in here for actual journaling. I just write on the pages. And that's what I do. Just write on these pages. And I like to add a little bit of color to those pages. And as well in here, I keep um, an art journal. Uh, and it's the same thing. It's just a, a standard sized traveler's notebook that I like to do some art journaling in, which I haven't been doing this past little while because I just don't have the time. But I feel like it's important for me to keep up my regular journal. And write in here, you know, I write in here when I want to write a lot and that's I mean when I want to write like this is like a brain dump and it's almost two pages long this one's over two pages long sometimes I switch out my pen colors but I just date it and then write I write dear journal and then sometimes at the end I just say bye sign my name or um, right, you know, talk to you later journal or something like that. I just end this like it's a conversation. I'm talking with a friend when I write it down and I'm just putting my thoughts and frustrations down on paper. Sometimes it's not frustration. Sometimes it's something good, but lately it hasn't been that great. So I like to use, I've been using a lot of inks in here, just adding a little bit of colored, um, what have I been adding? I have this palette with me. I brought it because it was four different colors and it had the black, which I thought I might use more, but I forgot my stamps. So I've just been using a little bit of these colors to add some color to my journal, but I wanted a little bit more and I do have, because it was easy, easy, easy to pack, a little palette of, these are just the Prang watercolors, pressed watercolors. And so what I'm going to do is add a tiny little bit of water to this little dish. And this little dish is just, I buy my dog those little Caesars treats. Um, he doesn't eat them extensively, but these are a treat when he gets a little bit of this. I just rinse out these little tubs that they come in and keep them because they're perfect for stuff like this. So what I'm gonna do for this page I'm just going to open to a new page and I'm going to add a little bit of color to this. So this is just a st lined standard colored notebook on this yellow colored paper. To tell you the truth, guys, let me see if there's something on the back. There's Sometimes if I get them from a certain place, there's uh, a label on the back where they made them. But you can order uh, traveler's notebooks, filler notebooks for your TNs just about anywhere on Etsy. Just Google and you'll find a place probably close by that it's easy to get some. So I'm going to take some water and I'm just going to add some water to a few of these colors here so that I can start getting them worked up. And I'm liking blues and greens right now. They seem to be making me happy. And I think that's because there's a foot of snow outside. Um, yeah, we're in Ontario, of course. Uh, I live in New Brunswick, but we're in Ontario. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift up my page. And I'm just going to start adding. I'm going to add some water to this and let it run down. And that's all I'm going to do is just add color along the edge of my page like this. Let's intensify that a little bit. I'm just going to add water and color and let this run and drip. I'm going to get a paper towel, guys. I'm going to kind of blot this a little bit there like that because I just don't want it running down through. I mean, it will get on the other pages this way, which I really don't care because I don't add a lot of decor to this. I don't want to make this journal fat. I just want a little color in here. So I'm gonna start by adding some little puddles of water here. 
like that. So a puddle there, a puddle here, some water down in this corner like that, a little bit of water here because it, the water will travel really slow and take a single course like this over dry paper. But when I wet my paper like that and then add a little color, So just a puddle of color. So let that swirl and I'm gonna let it run. Just like that. A little more blue over here along my edge. This is a different color of blue. I'm not going for anything in particular here, guys. Just blobs, I'm blobbing on color. Blobbing on color, that's all I'm doing. Add a little more, get some up in here. This is gonna dry much lighter than what it is here, but you can see how pretty this is gonna be. It's just gonna be a combination of greens Two different colors of green here. Two different colors happening and then some blue and I like this blue. Let's blob up that inside where everything is running to there. And I'm sure when I flip my page, there's going to be watercolor on the other side. But I, so I have this. I'm just going to move some of this over here. Like that. I don't want this to be, um, I don't want this to be heavy in color either. That's why I'm using, these watercolors are not heavy. They're not well pigmented. And... When this dries, it'll probably dry a little bit lighter. There. Let's get some on that edge. And that's it, guys. That's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to let this dry. And to do that, I'm just going to leave my page open. I have this, this, I have this square. I'm just going to put this apart across the page. Now it may draw some color to it and leave a line when that dries, but that's okay with me. I don't care. Um, I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to journal my page. But this gives my book, because I'm using water on here, this gives my book a little bit of that crinkly sound when I turn my pages in my journal as well. I kind of love that. Now this is starting to puddle at the edge here and look like it's going to roll over. So I'm going to dab some of that up. I'm going to dab a little bit of this up. And when I dab, and that's another thing too, when you take just a paper towel and scrunch it, so you take your paper towel and scrunch it, then you've got these lines. I'm going to just lift this for a minute. You've got these lines, so if you dab, You're going to get this kind of textured look on your paper too, which is really neat. Love, love, love that. So you can see it more on this side because this is a little wetter. It's the last side that I did. There. Blues and greens, you can't go wrong. Other color, you can. I could have added a little wee bit of purple in here. Let's do that. Let's grab my brush and wash this off. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that off there and get a little bit of water. And I did wet down my purple. So I'm gonna let some of that soak into my brush. I'm just going to add a little bit to this edge and a little bit more water like this. I'll let that run down. Get this wet, let it run down. 
See, I never know when I'm done, guys. <laughs> now, I don't want that to go too far, and I kind of like that. So this is where I will grab my tissue or my paper towel and do this and let that just be that little bit of purple. So because I did it on that page, I'm going to want to do it on this page. Yeah, look, see my colors are running through to the next page. But I don't care. This is not artwork. This is my journal, guys. So some water along here, some color. Let's get some color like that. Let's let it set and run a little bit. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. That little bit of purple on there, just spectacular. I love it. Just love it. Kind of outlines my pages, eh? So, once again, back to this so that I can... It's just an old angle square here. I'm going to set it on there to hold my page open and let it dry. And I'm done. So, I know this wasn't showing you much, for, but for those people that are just starting to journal, I'm wondering how to do this technique. I first watched a... YouTube channel and I believe the girl's name was Allie Brown and she did a lot of journaling and that's what she does she does a lot of journal journaling and stuff like that and she that's what she would do she would just blob watercolor down on her page when she journaled and I think it's a great idea I don't know what kind of a pen I'm going to write with here so that's why I did it first if you know that your pen is completely um, permanent and it's not going to run when water is added go ahead and journal first and add your color later if you want to but this is going to dry just slightly lighter than what it is I'm gonna write on here probably with a black pen and it'll look great so thanks for watching everybody I do so appreciate it and every one of your views every one of your comments um, you guys are what are keeping me going right now and Thank you for all your prayers, thoughts. Um, yeah, you guys are my rock. You guys are my rock right now. So thanks so much. The furnace is just kicked on. If you've been watching, you know I'm living in the basement right now. So I'm going to let that uh, let that signal the end of this video. So bye-bye for now, everybody. Until the next video, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you all then. Bye.